Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on logarithms of numbers less than 1. In this video, we'll be looking at multiplication and division. So straight away, we start with our first problem. Problem 1, evaluate 0 0.254 times 0 0.001658. So we start the solution, we use the tabular form. So we have the number and log columns. We place the number on the number columns. That's 0 0.254 times 0 0.001658. So the integer part of 0 0.254 is per one. Remember, if 0 0.254 is written as standard form, the power of 10 is going to be negative one. So just move. The point by one negative one then we place our point 25 under four from the logarithm table is four zero four eight and uh, the integer part of zero point zero zero one six five eight is one two three that's going to be bar three place our point 16 under five differences of eight from logarithm table gives 2196. This is multiplication we are going to add. Remember, if you are multiplying, you add. So 8 plus 6 gives 14. You write 4, carry 1. This is also going to give us 14. You write 4, carry 1. Now is going to make this 1, 2. 2 plus 4 gives 6. Place our point. So bar 1 plus bar 3. That's going to give us negative 1 minus 3, which is going to give us negative 4. And we have our answer as bar 4. We go to the anti-logarithm table. We keep this integer part. Check 62 under 4 differences of 4. We have 4, 2, 1, 1. Then immediately after the first digit, we place our point. We then see times 10 raised to power the integer part we have here which is bar 4 or we write it as negative 4. This is in standard form or scientific notation. We can then write it as ordinary form which is 0 0.0004211 which is the solution of the product of 0 0.254 and 0 0.001658. That's the end of solution to problem one. We go to problem two. For problem two, but we evaluate 0 0.01094 divided by 0 0.000451. So for the solution, we arrange our work in a tabular form. So this is the number column and this is the log column. So place our numbers in the number column. We start by giving the logarithm of each of the numbers. The integer part here is bar 2. This is 1, 2. So that's going to be bar 2.10 under 9 differences of 4 from the logarithm table. We have it as 0, 3, 9, 1. Then we come here. The integer part here is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to give us bar 4. Point the logarithm of 45 under 1, there's no difference there, it's giving us 6542. This is division. If you are dividing, you subtract. So we subtract. Um, we borrow one from here. 11 minus 2 gives 9. We are left with 8. 8 minus 4 gives 4. Um, we are going to borrow 1 from this bar 2 it becomes bar 3 after borrowing 1. Then bring it here, which is 10. We borrow 1 from the 10. We'll be left with 9. Then this is 13. Minus 5 gives 8. Remember, we are left with 9 here. 9 minus 6 gives 3. After borrowing 1 from bar 2, we are left with bar 3. So bar 3 minus bar 4. That's minus 3 minus minus 4, which is minus 3 plus 4, which gives 1. 
So we have our point before the one. Now the integer part is one and the decimal fractional part is three, eight, four, nine. We keep the integer part here and check the anti-logarithm of 38 under 4, difference of 9. And that gives 2426. The method is you place the point immediately after the first digit, multiply it by 10, then give the integer part as the power of 10, which gives the solution in standard form and in ordinary form we have 24.26 that's the end of problem two we then go to problem three for problem three evaluate 62.67 times 0 0.0281 over 0 0.000065 so the solution is going to be Arrange in a tabular form again. We have the number column and the logarithm column. We start with the numerator 62.67 times 0 0.00281. 62.67 is a number greater than 1. So the integer part is 1. Place our point 62 under 6 differences of 7 from the logarithm table gives 7971. That is done for the logarithm of 62.67. For 0 0.0281, the integer part is going to be bar 2. So we have bar 2.28 under 1. No difference from the logarithm table. Gives 4487. Since this is multiplication, we are going to add. So 1 plus 7 gives 8. 7 plus 8 gives 15. You write 5, carry 1. This is 14. You write 4, carry 1. This is 11 plus 1, 12. You write 2, carry 1 to the integer part. That one, you carry it, plus this one gives 2. 2 plus bar 2 is going to be 2 minus 2, which gives 0. So we keep this, then we go to the denominator, and the denominator is divided by 0 0.00065. The integer part is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to give us bar 4. This is going to be 65 under 0 from the logarithm table, and that gives 8129. And since we are dividing here, we are going to subtract. So this 0 0.2458 minus bar 4.8129. We put one, this is 18 minus 9 gives 9. We are left with 4, 4 minus 2 gives 2, 4 minus 1 gives 3. We put one from 0, we'll be left with bar 1 there. We then have 12 minus 8, and that gives 4. Place our point. Remember, after borrowing 1 from 0, we are left with bar 1. So bar 1 minus bar 4, that's going to give us minus 1 plus 4, which is going to give us 3. So we have the integer part here to be 3. Then we keep the integer part and check the decimal fractional part from the anti-log reading table which is going to be 43 under two differences of nine, which gives 2710. We place the point immediately after two, multiply by 10 raised to the power of these three, which is the integer part we left behind. So this is the standard form of the solution of the problem. Then the ordinary form gives 2710. And that's all for problem three. And this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. Check our next video on powers and roots of logarithm of numbers less than one. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in our next lesson. Until then, goodbye.